How do you lose body fat fast? So there's some nuance to this question. Let's unpack it a little bit. Losing weight or body fat quickly can be super motivating, but for most people, it's probably not the best idea. And there's a few reasons for this. From my experience, I found that people can lose weight quickly or lose body fat quickly, but when that happens, it tends to be a lot harder to sustain over the long term. And one of the main reasons is because when you're going on a diet, when you're in a fat loss phase, the habits that you build when you're doing that, things like eating more protein, paying attention to your overall calorie consumption, so what you're eating, being really dialed in on that, being dialed in maybe with your exercise or your movement, like all of those habits that you're building along the way are important and it takes time to build up those habits. So if you go on a crash diet or if you're just trying to lose as much body fat as you can like in a month, tends to not be the best idea because it's just gonna be harder to maintain over the long term because you haven't built up those habits that are necessary to maintain that fat loss. So although it might sound nice to lose body fat fast, you're typically, and at least from what I've seen, typically that, that fat is just gonna come back just as fast. So you wanna make sure that you are being strategic with your fat loss efforts, being strategic and smart with the, you know, the rate of fat loss. So typically for most people, you know, a general range of weight of fat loss per week is between 0.5 to 1% of body weight per week. And I like to use the percentage because it's going to be based off of the person's body weight rather than giving, you know, an arbitrary number of, you know, lose one to two pounds per week. Because you could have someone who's 400 pounds losing one to two pounds per week or someone who's 120 pounds losing one to two pounds per week. And that's gonna be a lot different. So paying attention to, you know, if you're using the scale to track your weight over the course of a few Few weeks, months, things like that. 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week is a good place to be in. It's a large enough deficit to see good progress, but it's not too big that you're, you know, getting super fatigued, you're getting burnt out from the diet, things like that. So you really just want to make sure that you're you're paying attention to all the things that matter the most for maintaining that fat loss over the long term, because that's what matters, right? We don't want to just lose body fat and then gain it all back. We want to lose that body fat, do it in a way that's sustainable. And that's gonna come from building the habits along the way. Another thing to think about too, is that when you lose weight fast, you might not just be losing body fat, it might also be muscle. So if you are in a really deep calorie deficit, typically anything above like 30% of a deficit, that is gonna be a recipe for losing muscle as well as body fat. And we don't wanna lose muscle. Like, Why would you wanna lose muscle? Muscle is amazing. So that is what's gonna give you that, the figure that you want when you lose the body fat, right? That's gonna you know, shape your body. It's gonna make you look toned, right? Everyone wants to look toned. So that comes from having muscle. So you don't wanna lose that muscle. So making sure that you are not losing weight too fast is gonna ensure that you're holding on to that muscle mass. So we also wanna think about the scale, and if you actually are using that as your only metric, you might be missing a lot of the things that are happening with your body composition. So from my experience over the years working with clients, I've had clients lose body fat and the scale actually doesn't even move that much. And the reason for that is because they're actually building muscle at the same time, and that is gonna be super, super beneficial over the long term, right? We know muscle is super important for overall health, longevity, making you look and feel good. So you wanna make sure that you're you know, paying attention to that. So the scale is not the and all be all. So when you're, you know, looking to lose body fat, don't just use the scale as your main metric. Track other things. Track, you know, how you're feeling throughout the day, like in your clothes. Track, you know, progress pictures, body tape measurements. Other things besides just the scale are going to give you a bigger picture of what's actually happening with your body composition and how it's actually changing over time versus just, you know, looking at a number on the scale. So, those are a few things to to make sure that you're thinking about, but you definitely want to make sure that you are paying attention to, you know, what is the long-term goal here like you want to lose that body fat but you want to make sure that you're keeping it off so losing it as fast as possible might not be the best route to go thanks so much for watching if you want to learn more about nutrition fitness or metabolic flexibility you can check out our website metflexlife.com there you can find our podcast okay. metflex and chill our nutrition and exercise programs our latest blog posts free recipes and much more